basically this is how I want it to look like with every handful you can see biochar I don't know if you can see it well in the camera but I basically see I basically can see biochar throughout this whole entire thing all right guys I want to talk about how I plan on filling this raised bed there's a 12 foot raised bed uh, you can see I didn't cover the whole thing with cardboard yet but I plan to and uh from the dirt I sifted out this is the all the bigger stuff the rocks all the debris and stuff and I plan to deal with a layer of paper dirt and then more paper and uh, every two layers I plan to water it and uh, just so it can absorb some water before the big rain events and so it's not so uh, hydrophobic and I plan to do a little at a time until I finish and I'll show you what it looks like in a bit because right now I don't think I have enough paper to fill this up anyway so I'll probably just do this half for today and uh yeah i'll show you that what that looks like in a minute all right here's how it looks after a layer of, of paper then a layer of dirt layer of yeah layer of paper layer of dirt then layer another layer of paper and i realized this isn't a really good way of showing how i did it so i'm gonna just set up the tripod and uh show you how i really did it and yeah see you see you in the time lapse All right guys, <clears throat> here's how the raised bed looks like after I started filling it up with the paper and my native soil. As you can see, I didn't sift it this, I didn't sift it this time, just cause I'm running out of time. It's gonna rain soon. So I try to get, get as much done today before it starts raining. And yeah, I still have a whole bunch more to go. I asked my dad to give me some more paper from his job and we will see how much of this I can fill within I don't know, hopefully the next week, but I don't know, we'll see. Alright guys, so it's been like four months later since I've been filling this raised bed up. And uh, I'm trying to fill it up today before it gets too hot. Because uh, uh, I'm in zone 8B, right now we're getting up to the lower 80s. And then should should really get to the, up to the 100s, so yeah, I want to finish this sooner rather than later. So... Uh, uh, I'm gonna just do like I was doing previously a layer of dirt layer of paper then another layer of dirt and uh, I'm gonna keep doing that until I get all the way to the top uh, as you see there's a bunch of rocks and uh, with the top layer I'm gonna sift the dirt just so it was just a uh, sifted dirt and not rock and yeah I'll be right back when it's all filled up hopefully all right guys, so I'm in the last layer of my uh, raised bed. So I'm going to show you how I plan to make or how to make this native soil, this crappy native soil into a good soil or at least into a better soil that's better to plant into. But yeah, you, as you can see, this is really dry and crumbly and just dead from not take care of it from all these years especially because from since i wasn't living here this entire time but uh let's start with putting some charcoal in or some biochar and uh i just sifted my biochar into a quarter inch just like i did with the native soil
and I like the quarter inch so I can plant seedlings if I really wanted to. But yeah, that's two almost full shovelfuls of biochar into seven and a half gallons of my native soil. Basically what I'm looking for in this soil is to retain water because as it is right now it's not going to retain any water at least not well but biochar carries tons of water uh i don't know if you saw with my biochar it's pretty wet from all the rains we've been getting even though we haven't gotten well, it rained a little bit like yesterday or two days ago so hopefully the biochar will help my native soil retain a lot more water and by the way seven and a half gallons is one cubic foot so that's how much soil we're amending right now so the first thing I'm adding is charcoal just like I said it's to help retain water especially living in a desert climate water is really hard to come by even though I live in a in a city limits I can get water pretty easily but I want to try to to have the water less because no one wants a huge water bill right It's still pretty dusty. Maybe a little bit more biochar. Found a nail. Must be from when I was burning those pallets. I mean, basically, this is how I want it to look like. With every handful, you can see biochar. I don't know if you see it well in the camera, but I basically can see I basically can see biochar throughout this whole entire thing. Yeah, so now you would add organic matter, uh, whether that's you can add peat moss if you really wanted to. Or if you have your own compost, you can add that. If you have leaf mold, you can add that. Um, right now, I'm going to add some undecomposed uh, leaf matter or leaf compost just because uh, this is that extra leaves that I had that didn't fit in my trash can composter at the time. So I basically have five gallons of shredded leaves. Uh, I don't know if I can fit all of this in here, so I'll just add a little bit. As you can see, it's very dry. Just everything here is dry. Except for the biochar because it retains so much water. Okay, I'll just add that much for now. If I need more, then I'll add more. And uh, the reason why I'm adding leaf compost also is because uh, it will inoculate the soil and the biochar with fungus. 
and uh, you want your soy to be more on the fungal side instead of the bacterial side, which my soy is right now, because it, it can grow tons of weeds. So basically anything that grows quickly and goes to seed quickly, that's basically a bacterial, uh, what's it called, plant. So if you think about it, brassicas are technically a weed, but we eat a lot of brassicas like lettuce, even though they consider more of a fungal plant, but uh, something like uh, broccoli, that's definitely a bacteria plant because it doesn't use mycorrhizae in any way. And yeah, that's my train of thought. All right, guys. So here's how I want my soil to look like. Now let's let me. Let me take you to the raised bed and start filling it up. All right, guys, it's been a long time coming, but here's how the raised bed looks like after it's finally done being filled up. And yeah, as you can see, this is my native soil, biochar, and uh, some organic matter, undecomposed organic matter. So right now, what I have planned is I'm gonna plant beans in here. Uh, it'll be black beans. Because they mix their own nitrogen, so I don't have to worry about nitrogen this year. Or at least not as much. I'll probably have to add some a little uh, anyway. But yeah, this is finally done. I'm going to fill it with beans, like I said. Water it in. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for sticking this long. I know it's been a long time since I was making it. It's been a long time since I started this video. But yeah, I finally finished. And hopefully we have a great growing season. Alright guys, thank you for watching. See you next video. Peace.